Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 heavy metal songs of all time. For this list, we'll be ranking the most powerful, enduring, and definitive jams of the heavy metal world. We realize there is a myriad of genres and subgenres of heavy metal, and our list will be focusing on the most traditionally known and respected classics. What's your preferred sound of heavy metal thunder? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 20. All We Are Warlock The landscape of mid-80s heavy metal wasn't exactly where one might expect to find one of the most dynamic female singers of her generation. But then again, Doro Pesh was nobody's wallflower. All we are, we are, we are all, all we need, all we are. Instead, Doro pioneered heavy metal in her native Germany with the band Warlock before embarking upon a solo career that continues to this day. All We Are is a true heavy metal anthem, taken from Warlock's most commercially successful album, Triumph and Agony. Doro's vocals are immense and charismatic, while the song's arrangement balances the catchiness of hair metal with a riff attack that's burly enough to easily stand toe to toe with the boys. All We Are is a rallying call to arms that still gets us pumped. Number 19. Balls to the Wall. Accept. Speaking of German heavy metal, another formative act from that country was Accept, who laid plenty of groundwork for younger bands to follow in their wake. In fact, Accept's early speed and aggression heavily influenced the thrash metal scene, thanks to rippers like Fast as a Shark, Metal Hearts, and our personal pick, Balls to the Wall. The track works in a mid-paced mold, driving home a main riff that frankly defies you to not headbang to its earworm-level catchiness. Meanwhile, the middle section features multiple breakdowns, chanting, and enough bass-led sing-alongs to satisfy any heavy metal maniac. Oh, and lead singer Udo Dirkschneider? He has a voice that can peel paint from the walls, which is always a plus in our book. Number 18. Burn in Hell – Twisted Sister Twisted Sister was always sort of an outlier within the world of 1980s hair metal, with the band's early material echoing their influences from 70s glam and glitter rock. What do you want to do with your life? I want to rock! <laughs> Their 1984 album, Stay Hungry, was a breakthrough success, combining that early aggression with streamlined and economic songwriting. Burn in Hell also hit at the perfect time, when the perceived satanic content of heavy metal was frightening parents across the United States. Burnin' Hell has its cake and eats it too, playing coy with cheeky lyrical content while also possessing inspired riffing. D. Snyder also proves underrated as a frontman and singer, absolutely belting it out from the first note to last. Take a good look in your heart, tell me what do you say? If this is hell, then hell ain't a bad place to be. Number 17. Abigail, King Diamond 
The legacy of Danish singer and songwriter King Diamond was secure after the dissolution of his former band, Merciful Fate. More on them in a minute. With legions of fans flocking to the King's unique and idiosyncratic falsetto vocals. The King Diamond solo band, however, would delve into even more theatrical and conceptual storytelling, with each studio effort working simultaneously as heavy metal arts and performance art. Abigail is perhaps the most actualized of these efforts, a fan-favorite LP whose title track is bombastic, melodic, and even melancholic. There's a profound sadness to the story told within the Abigail album's lyrics. While the song itself boasts perhaps one of guitarist Andy LaRock's most memorable riffs. Number 16, Curse of the Pharaohs, Merciful Fate. We just mentioned King Diamond's previous band, Merciful Fate, earning some real deal fan recognition with their studio output. How real deal, you may ask? Well, how about Metallica? The heavy metal icons were profoundly influenced by Merciful Fate early on in their careers and even covered this track, Curse of the Pharaohs, in medley form on their album, Garage Inc. <laughs> It's easy to see why Metallica were so impressed too, because the guitar work from Hank Sherman and Michael Denner was truly on another level. It's almost criminal how talented the pair was as a guitar team, since not only does Curse of the Pharaohs contain an instantly catchy opening riff, but harmony soloing and relentless rhythmic aggression. It's truly one of the greats. Number 15, Witching Hour, Venom. Behold and bear witness to the insidious roots of heavy metal's darkest and most mysterious subgenre, black metal. The new wave of British heavy metal, from which Venom first emerged, was used to dabbling with occult themes, but these lads from Newcastle went all in with their satanic imagery. The band also shunned subtlety in their tri-pronged attack, operating in an intentionally hyperactive and crude, some might say sloppy manner, that sought to offend and excite in equal measure. Witching Hour is blazingly fast for the time and merciless in its intent to pound you over the head and absolutely kick your ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, the theatrics of Kronos, Mantis, and Abaddon would inspire legions of corpse-painted black metal bands to get even more extreme in their wake. Number 14, Am I Evil, Diamond Head. We couldn't have a more drastic contrast of styles from our last pick to our next entry, Diamond Head's Am I Evil. Both songs arrived from the new wave of British heavy metal movement, yet Diamond Head's influences and execution are clearly more indebted to the majesty of classic rock like Led Zeppelin than the simplicity of Venom. <music> Am I Evil even opens up with a tribute to the classical piece The Planets by Gustav Holst before breaking into a righteous heavy metal thunder. Diamond Head hang their hat on the song's epic main riff in Brian Tatler's guitar pyrotechnics, while singer Sean Harris weaves a tale of true wickedness within the lyrics. It's classy, proper heavy metal at its old school best.
Number 13. Arise. Sepultura. At the crossroads between death metal and thrash metal, there you will find the sonic steel that is the classic Sepultura sound. These Brazilian legends grew from an underground black metal career to surprising mainstream success with their albums Chaos AD and Roots. It's the middle era that's the true sweet spot for Sepultura fans, however, with the rise serving as its creative zenith. The song is just five years removed from the groove metal of Roots, yet couldn't sound more different, defining death slash thrash perfection in a little over three minutes. Max Cavalera's vocals are guttural, yet decipherable, while his brother Igor counteracts the ripping guitars with a simple, effective groove. Not a second is wasted, and every moment kicks maximum ass. Number 12. Pull Me Under, Dream Theater. The world of progressive metal rarely, if ever, achieves crossover chart success. However, this is exactly what happened with Pull Me Under, a surprising hit single from Dream Theater's sophomore effort, Images and Words. The song was, in the band's own words, a fluke, yet there's nothing surprising about the level of talent laid out on display here in Pull Me Under. It retains a constant level of excitement, despite its 8 plus minute running time, with chugging heaviness contrasting with an amount of melody that's nothing short of anthemic. The whole band works every angle, fires every creative cylinder, and drives home unlimited energy throughout every mini movement achieved by Pull Me Under and its progressive metal mastery. Number 11. Caught in a Mosh – Anthrax There's traditionally a big four of the American thrash genre that come into the overarching heavy metal conversation, so much so that a series of live events celebrating those four artists were held in places like New York City and the city of Sofia in Bulgaria. Anthrax opened up those shows, and a number of songs were constant in their set list, including this one, Caught in a Mosh. The track is taken from what's arguably the band's finest hour, 1987's Among the Living, and instantly catches listeners' attention thanks to Frank Bellow's iconic opening bass line. Talking to you is like laughing with one hand. Come on, what is it? From there, it's a thrasher piece of intense drumming, hardcore influenced guitar riffs, and a breakdown section that gets bodies moving every single time. <laughs> Number 10. Holy Diver, Dio. There are a million moments from the career of Ronnie James Dio that could have made this list. From his stint fronting Black Sabbath to the mini movie that was the video clip for his song, Rock and Roll Children. However, the world would likely point to Holy Diver as one of Dio's most commercially successful songs from what became a defining album for the singer. Diver revels in the sort of medieval and magical atmosphere for which Dio would become known. To the point where a dragon slaying spot was once included in the band's stage show. 
Meanwhile, the melody is set on full display, while Holy Diver's mid-paced groove allows future Def Leppard guitarist Vivian Campbell to show off his amazing chops. Number 9. Cemetery Gates – Pantera Pantera was undoubtedly one of the most influential heavy metal bands of the last 30 years, laying groundwork for the immensely popular power groove sound that would dominate after the group abandoned their hair metal roots. Oh, Cowboys from Hell signified this sort of sonic rebirth, an amplification of their previous album Power Metal and a true coming of age for Pantera's still new singer Philip Anselmo. The album's title track served as a fearsome call to arms, but it's perhaps Cemetery Gates that's the best distillation of Pantera's new and exciting sound. Complete with the genius guitar work of Dimebag Daryl, it's a rousing mixture of heavy metal's past and future, a power ballad that's all power, yet retaining all of the emotion required to remain a stone-cold classic. <laughs> Number 8. Holy Wars – The Punishment Due – Megadeth Megadeth exists as perhaps the most technical example of thrash metal from the genre's big four acts, a clinical exercise in how to perform the genre with surgical precision. To further that end, the band's fourth album, Rust in Peace, blew minds back in 1990 with exactly how complex and thoughtful Megadeth had become as songwriters and arrangers. The Punishment Do is a prime testament to that idea, as it's basically two songs in one, the first being a fast and melodic speed metal exercise before getting very, very heavy. The Punishment Do section slows things down to a crushing mid-pace before picking things up with an array of mind-melding lead guitars. We've never heard an ode to Marvel's The Punisher sound quite like this. Number 7. Crazy Train – Ozzy Osbourne Sometimes you've just got to give the people what they want. Oh! Former Black Sabbath frontman Ozzy Osbourne did this when he departed from the formative heavy metal legends for a solo career, delivering the genre a fresh and commercially viable shot in the arm. Crazy. Crazy Train is just one of those universal Aussie songs that everyone knows, yet it was elevated by the X Factor that was the once in a lifetime guitar talent of Randy Rhodes. Rhodes' classically influenced playing made the arrangement of Crazy Train iconic while at the same time being easily digestible for so many different kinds of people. Yet the actual work on display is so dizzyingly awesome and impressive, there's no doubt that Ozzy and Randy were truly inspired when composing Crazy Train. Number 6. Ace of Spades Motorhead Motorhead is another band with such a rich musical history that it proved very difficult to choose just one song to stand out from the rest. Kill 
Thrilled by Death, Overkill, Iron Fist, and more all proved to be worthy candidates. But sometimes your first instinct is the best, and that instinct was Ace of Spades. The only gun I need is the Ace of Spades! The Ace of Spades! Lemmy's blower bass kicks the whole shebang off in classic fashion, as Phil Filthy Animal Taylor's double kick drums sound the call for Fast Eddie Clark's riffing to take charge and lead the way to glory. You know I'm going to lose, I got plans for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby, I don't want to live forever. It's a simple but outstandingly effective example of overdriven rock and roll done to excess and performed with charisma, style, and sleazy charm to spare. Number 5. Angel of Death – Slayer Slayer's reign in blood is widely regarded as one of, if not the finest examples of thrash metal ever recorded by one of the big four. It's easy to see why, thanks to songs like Raining Blood and our next pick, Angel of Death. The world wasn't ready when Slayer unleashed this beast, so unstoppable was their level of aggression. It's not enough that the song rips out of the starting gate with a riff that instantly sets every nerve alive, but then there's a matter of what occurs at about a minute 38. The bottom drops out of our world when Angel of Death lets loose with an earth-shattering breakdown, before racing down to hell with frenzied soloing and drumming. Killer. Number 4. The Trooper, Iron Maiden The music of Iron Maiden is many things to many different people, but one constant behind their creative process has always been the adaptation of historical events into their lyrics. The Trooper might be the most beloved example of this. A song that combines the bombast of heavy metal with the story of Britain's infamous Charge of the Light Brigade during the Crimean War. Although Run to the Hills is just as well known, White man came across the, sea. He brought us pain and the Trooper presents Maiden's musical attack in a near perfect way. The guitars of Dave Murray and Adrian Smith harmonize, bassist Steve Harris gallops along with drummer Nico McBrain, while singer Bruce Dickinson proves once again why he's on the short list of heavy metal's all-time greatest frontmen. Number 3. Painkiller – Judas Priest Speaking of that short list, is there any heavy metal singer who quite exemplifies all of the trappings of the genre more than Rob Halford? For many fans, he's unequivocally the voice of metal, with his band Judas Priest also serving as judge, jury, and executioner against any pretenders to the throne. Killer might be the band's heaviest moment too, a reaction to the rising popularity of thrash metal and a promise that the old guard was not going to be left in the dust. Painkiller is overdriven and excessive, with steel polish to a razor sharp edge that cuts with killing riffs and a relentless rhythm. Alfred screams like a demon possessed, announcing to the world that they were not going quietly into that good night.
Number 2. Master of Puppets, Metallica. Knock, knock. Say who's there. Surprise! It's Metallica with the greatest thrash metal song ever. Bad jokes aside, many metal fans would be hard-pressed to argue against how Master of Puppets clocks in at nearly nine minutes in length, yet never feels boring or drawn out. Instead, every riff has its place, and every place, its riff, as Metallica elevates thrash into a true work of art. Master of Puppets possesses movements and mood, taking listeners through a journey of one man's addiction via a song that's as aggressive, melodic, and memorable as anything offered by Metallica's many peers. Enter Sandman may be the band's biggest single, but Master of Puppets laid down greatness back in 86 as a true thrash metal masterpiece. Master! Before we name our number one pick, here are some heavy honorable mentions. Stargazer, Rainbow, Proto Heavy Metal at its finest. I Wanna Be Somebody, Wasp, LA's Kings of Shock Rock. The Toxic Waltz, Exodus, a thrashing mosh pit anthem. Duhast, Rammstein, new German hardness at its finest. <laughs> See you in hell, Grim Reaper. A crossover hit from the new wave of British heavy metal. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. We can't imagine what it must have felt like to have dropped the needle on Black Sabbath's self-titled debut from 1970 and actually hear the birth of heavy metal right in front of our eyes and ears. That was a very good year for the Sabs, as songs like War Pigs Paranoid and Iron Man all burrowed their way into the DNA strands of a fresh new genre. But there's just something special about this opening track that continues to send shivers up our spines so many years later. The tolling bells of doom, that doomy pace, Tony Iommi's ominous riffs, and Ozzy's harrowing wail, there's just no getting around it. This is capital H, capital M, heavy metal. Oh lord, yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.